the website that's supposed to make it easy to apply for and purchase the insurance is not working and there's no sugar coating it. I worked in technology media back in the earlier part of the century. It was an amazing time and it was an amazing wave of innovation and creativity. But it became clear to me that it didn't seem like anyone else was paying attention to how much we were leaving our government back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. While the rest of our society was just hurtling towards this new frontier, I wanted to do something about that. So I decided to start something called Code for America. We talked a lot in the beginning of Code for America about bringing some of the principles and, and practices of the web era to making government work. Starting with the user, understanding what's going on for the person who's going to use your service, iterating quickly, following the data about what's working and what's not. We focused on health, on the criminal justice system, and on workforce training. There's a lot of ability to really help people in our society at the same time that we're changing how government operates. For instance, if you go to apply for food stamps in California now, it's a really long online form that doesn't work on a mobile phone, and only some of the people who are eligible for that program actually take advantage of it. And that's not good for them, but it's also not good for the community because when we don't feed those kids, we will pay for a more expensive intervention later. Why can't we just send them a text that says, we noticed you're not receiving food benefits, but we believe that you're eligible. May we apply on your behalf? And if they text back a why, then why do they have to come fill out a form? We have that information. Maybe that sounds like fancy technology, but that technology isn't expensive these days. What's expensive is lots and lots of forms and lots of data entry. That's expensive. In Michigan, it used to be that you had several long, complicated applications for food stamps, Medicaid, and other social safety net programs, each of which took a long time. So we're in the process of simplifying that into one easy, short application so that they can actually get those benefits. If I didn't have this program, I don't know what I would do, you know. I'd be worried and stressed and wonder what I'm going to do for food or what I'm going to do for insurance and how am I going to take care of myself and my son. It's quick, it's easy, it's not hard to understand. I'm so happy it's available to people to have. Voters passed a law several years ago that said if you have a low-level felony, you should be able to get rid of that felony off of your record. But so few people, again, have been able to go through the bureaucratic process to actually get that off. We didn't think about the implementation of it. I'm in awe of the fact that it went so fast. I just put in a little bit of information and everything was done for me. Clear My Record has given me a chance to have a second chance. It was very easy, and it's going to change my life. I know that our partners at the federal level are very eager for our success because they want to replicate what we have done in other states. It revolutionized how we do business in California. We have about 70 Code for America chapters, and we call them brigades. And they're led by tech people, but also non-tech people. And they're decided that the best way to make their community better is to improve local government, make it work better for people on issues from pretrial incarceration to responding to disasters. They're these incredibly dynamic, citizen-led movement. And we help connect them and support them all around the country. As hard as it is, we are actually winning. We're starting to see interfaces to government that truly are simple and beautiful and easy to use. And what we need to do is just give more and more energy to that momentum and just push it into the stratosphere and up the ambition level because we have all the evidence we need that government can work for the people and by the people in a digital age.